My name is Greg Plunkett, and I'm the director of the Coleman Program for Molecular Systematics at the New York Botanical Garden. I'm here in Port Vila, which is the capital city of Vanuatu. Here we're doing a project we call Plants and People of Vanuatu, which is a project we started in 2015 with my colleague Mike Balick at NYBG, along with our partners here in Vanuatu, including the Vanuatu Department of Forestry, the Vanuatu National Herbarium, and the Vanuatu Cultural Center. The project was originally designed as a way to document all the plants of this country, which has never been done thoroughly before, and also to document the traditional uses of the plants by the local people here. In addition, because Vanuatu has over 112 different languages, making it the most language-dense country in the world, we wanted to document the traditional names of the plants in the indigenous languages. So we started that project in 2015, and then over time, we were asked by local people here that we were working with to expand the project into other areas. These included projects to do work on conservation of their forests. Many people knew that the forests were important as sources of food and of clean water and of materials to build their houses. These are things that we call ecosystem services. And so they asked us to help preserve their forests, which they saw being degraded in front of them. One of the challenges was that most funders will only provide uh, assistance when there are endangered species uh, in play. And in Manawatu, very few species have ever been assessed using an international protocol called the IUCN Red List Assessment. We were largely locked out of that uh, kind of uh, effort until uh, we came across uh, a partner in Geneva, Switzerland, called the Franklinia Foundation. There's a single species in Vanuatu which has been assessed with the rank of critically endangered. It's called Carpoxylon macrospermum, and it's a palm tree that's only found on three islands in the southern part of Vanuatu. And the last census of this tree species indicated that there were less than 40 adult individuals left in the wild. Franklinia Foundation is interested in supporting what they call in situ conservation, or conserving these species in their habitats in the wild environment. And so we were able to approach them with a project to do some conservation work in three different villages in two of the islands where the species is found. Two of them are on Tana Island, they're called High Hill and Nusumetu, and the third one is on the nearby island of Anaitsham in a village called Intanya. And the project will involve uh, setting up nurseries where we can collect seeds for, for germination and also for establishing protected areas around the natural habitats of these trees where we can exclude some activities like harvesting of trees uh, or gardening uh, and also exclude livestock in order to preserve the seedlings, saplings, and young adults of these trees. The ultimate goal is to increase the number of the trees in the wild to preserve um, the species in its natural habitat. But we'd also like to increase the opportunities for Vanuatu to do research and conservation work on other plant species as well. So part of the project will also be working with not only the local communities, but also to be working with the Vanuatu National Herbarium and the Forestry Department to document where these plants are found and to assess the threats that they face uh, in their survival. The capacity building that is provided by NYPG is vital because it helps the students and also the offices in the department to build their skills and knowledge especially in uh, their rooms and also in the, in the field doing the collections of plants. It also helps uh, to increase the knowledge, in, especially in the management of uh, the herbarium. I mean, uh, in the past years, uh, uh, capacity building was very low, but it was so fortunate to have this partnership that helps us to uh, move on and also to develop a better management in herbarium at the moment.